During the 2011 uprising that ended Egypt's ex-president Hosni Mubarak's nearly three-decade reign, it's reported hundreds of protesters died. Now a court in Egypt has acquitted the ousted leader of conspiring in the killing of hundreds of demonstrators in the revolt that removed him from power. <laughs> The packed courtroom erupted in cheers as the judge in Cairo returned the not guilty verdict. The ruling follows a retrial two years after he was sentenced to life in prison over the killings. The 86-year-old was also cleared of corruption charges and a graft charge relating to gas exports to Israel. Outside the court, security was tight as supporters and opponents of Mubarak gathered. Carrying pictures and posters, people chanted slogans in support of him. Prior to the verdict, this supporter called for his acquittal. President Mubarak is a first-class nationalist and is a graduate of the military school. The revolutions were imported from the United States with the support of traitors who were bribed. Others called for punishment as the verdict was being announced. A fair retribution, that is what we call for. God's constitution should be applied and we are an Islamic country, so we have to apply God's constitution. Every person accused should be tried according to the crime committed. But the former leader will not walk free. He was found guilty in May of embezzlement of public funds and has been serving that three-year sentence while under house arrest for medical reasons in an army hospital.